is Nestor. Six months ago, his girlfriend left him for another man. Am I world, please? Why did she change me for another guy? Heartbroken, Ness tried to bounce back. He downloaded Tinder, but was met with zero matches. I've been trying for eight years, nothing happened. Ness is starting to worry that he may never clap cheeks again. There's only one hope for Ness now. We're going to give him an extreme Tinder makeover. All right, boys, we're in beautiful Medellin, Colombia right now. We just wrapped up a Tinder makeover with a client, and today we have a very, very special guest flying down. So one of the guys in the online dating cheat code was posting his photos in the Discord, and I said, look, buddy, these photos don't make the cut. You're not gonna get top tier baddies on dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge with this level of photos. He said, look, Hunter, bro, I don't have the money for a profile makeover right now, but if I can fly to you, can you just hook me up? Can you help me out, man? And I said, look, bro, before I agree to that, I wanna meet you in person and really learn about your story. So I flew to Mexico and met with Nestor over some hot chocolate. And let me tell you, he's an absolute stand-up guy. I wanna see this guy crushing it on dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge, and pulling some absolute chica bonitas on these apps back in Mexico. So, out of the kindness of my heart, I flew Nestor out to Colombia. We're about to meet him at the airport right now and begin his extreme Tinder makeover. Come here, come a little closer. In this video, I'm also gonna be giving away an extreme Tinder makeover to one lucky fan. And somewhere in the video, I've hidden a secret Easter egg that's gonna tell you how you can double your chances of winning. So don't skip ahead, boys. Watch the video, enjoy, pop some popcorn. But enough about that. Let's go meet up with Ness at the airport now. Wanna go meet him around the other side? Buddy. How are you, man? Buddy, welcome to Colombia. Bienvenido a Colombia. No, Welcome to Colombia, buddy. How are you feeling, man? Good. Yeah, you pumped? Hell yeah, man. Bro, we're gonna give you an extreme Tinder makeover. We've been talking about it. How's that sound to hear it in person for the first time? Pumped? Yeah. I'm tired right now, but you know, I've been waiting for this, man. Good. Here's the thing, bro. We had some discussions leading up to this moment. You remember everything we talked about? We're gonna have to have a serious talk, but that's not a talk for this car. Let's sit down and, and have a bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Ness. Welcome to Colombia, buddy. Welcome to my stuff. How is Tinder going for you right now? To be honest, mine has been going really bad. I haven't gone anything with it. You shared your story with me and it touched me. I saw you in the online dating cheat code community. You put up your photos and I said, bro, we're a long way from home here. We're a long way from the cheeks. And you told me, Hunter, I want to clap those cheeks. That's my as I can. So walk me through that, bro. You're in Oaxaca. You're in Mexico. On an average week, how many Tinder matches are you getting right now? Zero. Zero matches. Zero matches, mom. Yeah, so let me ask you this, bro. Like, what is your type? What kind of girl are you looking to attract? Looks wise. Yeah, petite. A little shorter than me. That's what I like to. Man, brown, white. I like that. And as far as like personality or like interests? I really like chicks that mm, have something going on for them, but that they have something to say, you know, that they're gonna just focus on themselves or something like that. Just stuck up, you know. That's what I like. 
So you're not just looking for a girl with a pretty face. You're looking for a girl with a pretty personality. With a good personality, there you go. Yeah, from behind. Yep. So let me get this straight. Right now, you're swiping on Tinder. No matches. No matches, mom. Go to the likes, and you got a bunch of chinandrias. Yeah, there you go. But you're looking for... Tu princesa. So there you go. Claro, claro. Okay, entonces. What are you looking for on dating apps? Are you looking to just clap a bunch of cheeks, rack up some numbers? Are you looking to settle down? I've been thinking about it, and uh, I want to clap as many cheeks as I can. But on the way, I want to find a girl that I really like. That's what I want. How old are you, by the way? I'm 26 right now. 26. And when's the last time you had like a date or a girlfriend? Like walk me through some of your recent experience. The last time I had a date was like five months ago when I was here in Colombia. I was dating this Venezuelan chick and everything went good. I didn't meet her like on, online, you know. I met her like through a friend mm -hmm. and it was the best time. But sure. you have to have abundance because otherwise these chicks are going to go with someone else. Because that's what happened to me. How did that make you feel? It made, really, made me feel really bad. I was like, in my workplace, why did she change me for another guy? All of those things, you know. How long were you guys going out for when she decided to go off with another guy? Um, we were dating for two weeks that I was here in Colombia. And then after a week later, she just loved me and dumped me, I guess. That fucking hurts, bro. It does. Because I really like her. Like, we had this chemistry, dude, that I haven't had with other chicks. Like, she showed me when my girl like, likes you, she's going to be there behind you. Like, doing things to, to be with you. That's what I found out here. Have you been able to bounce back since that breakup? Or do you think it still impacts you to this day? I want to say it still impacts me. Just on the way here to Colombia, I was thinking about her. Like, why did she do that? Why did she change me like that? And I know that I have to get to an abundant place so I can choose a girl that really likes me. Nestor, I know we spoke in the past. Your story, it touched me, bro. Like it's one of the biggest reasons that I want to work with you. And normally men pay thousands of dollars to fly out to me and my team to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. You get a profile makeover. But I saw you in my online community through the online dating cheat code. I met you in Mexico and heard your story and it hit way too close to home for me, bro. Because I've been that guy. You know, a younger hunter went through a, a pretty nasty breakup as well. I dated who I thought was the woman of my dream for four years, bro, four years. I thought this would be the girl I spend the rest of my life with. And one day out of the blue, she broke up with me over text. And a week later, one of my friends sent me her Instagram and she was at a hockey game with her new boyfriend a week later. A week later, yeah. And you know what, man? Like, what I find a lot of the time, I kind of laugh at the younger hunter. Now, it's been so many years I've had just so many cheeks clapped since that bad breakup. And I look back at a younger version of myself and I, I kind of laugh at him in a fucked up way. Because at that time, it was so much pain, bro. I wanted to die. Like I've never been lower in my life than that moment. I thought I'll never meet another woman that I love this much. And now I look back at that time in my life and think there were so many glaring red flags. And did I feel so strongly for her because I really loved her? Or did I feel so strongly for her because she was the only girl I could get? I know exactly what you're saying right there. Because this was the only chick that I had, so. She was my only option. And when she broke up with me or left, I was like, not the end of the world, but almost like it. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to get this makeover, change my life forever, have an abundance and never look back. I want to help you. And I'm invested in your success. I want to see you <laughs> making that sound every night. If you know what I mean. I know what you mean. A lot of high fives, dude. It's a lot of high fives. So take a look at your Tinder photos. First off, we have the beach selfie. Walk me through this photo. What were you thinking here? I read about like having a picture of yourself first. So that's what I took. That's the best one that I had supposedly. Mm -hmm. 
um, and that's showing me like a beach doing something, you know, being out. That's what I had. Right. I like that this photo is taken during golden hour. Like the light is hitting your skin in such a nice way, really making you glow. I also like how it shows the definition of your arm, kind of shows your musculature, which is really nice. But you know now, you've been through the online dating cheat code. Selfies are just never ideal. A good selfie would be way better if someone else took the photo of you at the beach, right? And a bad selfie, well, it's just a bad photo. It shouldn't be on your profile. So either way, Selfie is the most common mistake I see on a dating profile. Nine out of 10 times, it's not the best photo to use. But let's go on to your next photo here. So now we have another selfie kind of at nighttime in a Christmas market. Walk me through this photo. I was just out and about in the Portland, you know, the city. And I just took it out and then I used to upload it. That's it. So just a rapid fire selfie. That's it. And I thought I looked good with the, you know, the sweatshirt and all that. It's the biggest thing I was going to say I love about this photo is your outfit. It, it has very much of a boyfriend vibe. One thing we want to be careful of is it's good to have a boyfriend vibe on your profile, but if you do it in every photo, you're going to start to give off a nice guy vibe. I think a big focus for our profile makeover with you is going to include a good mix of boyfriend photos and badass photos. That way you can be both guys and you can interchange those photos like on Tinder, for example, the douchey look is often a little bit better but more of a wholesome app like Bumble, good idea to put some of those boyfriend photos in there. Okay. Yeah, man. But again, obviously another selfie, not super ideal. Which brings us to your third photo, and this is actually a photo that someone else took of you. So walk me through this photo. Um, I told my brother, hey, take a picture of me looking in the distance. It's gonna look good for my Tinder, that's it. Yeah, well again, I think this is actually a really cool adventure shot. And it's something that I recommend every guy has on their profile. An adventure shot shows women that you're not just that introverted guy taking selfies in the mirror, selfies in the car, selfies at the beach, but you go out, you go to interesting places, you're showing her that you can take her places she's never been, both outside of the bedroom and in. I have a cool adventure photo on my profile, it's very similar to this, and it looks like you might have drawn inspiration from that photo. I didn't know you back then. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, great minds think alike, bro. So an adventure photo where the background is really, really cool. This is the perfect time to take a full body photo because the background is more important than you are in this photo. The problem with this pic, Ness, is that it actually doesn't show your face. Even if we zoom in really, really tight, it's very hard to tell that this is you. So that's the biggest thing working against you here is when you do take an adventure photo, it still needs to be obvious that you are the guy in the photo and it's not some random photo off Pinterest. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. 100%. So we're gonna take a really cool adventure photo of you for your profile makeover, and we're actually gonna show your face and let you shine. Sounds good. Okay, so this next photo, we've got another full body shot at the giant Christmas tree. So what's going on in this photo? Uh, I was out in the way, just told my brother, hey, take a picture again. Mm -hmm. um, nothing else. Like it was just out of the blue, you know? Yeah. So this photo, I think it's like a one out of 10, bro. Uh, it's very hard to see what you look like in this photo for a couple of reasons. The photo is from super far away and the lighting is really, really bad. As a general rule of thumb, you never want to take photos at night for your dating profile because when your phone is taking a photo in low light conditions, it's forcing the camera to work super, super hard to find light. And what that does is it lowers the quality to compensate. So instead, you should always be taking photos outdoor during the day. And if you do take photos indoor or at night, you should have some additional lighting at your disposal. Yeah, it's hard to tell who, who even I am. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And man, you're like, you're a sexy beast, bro. Like you shouldn't be afraid to show that off. All right. Ooh, that's the coolest photo I had. Yeah. I took that myself and I took that shot. I really still remember it. I was with the, the goal was to use it for Tinder, but it didn't work too. Yes, yeah, so you took this last photo for the specific intention of using it on Tinder. Okay. And what do you think women think when they see this photo? The crop is bad. Like, I'm not showing myself like full body. Mm, lining is good, but I don't know. I'm still not there. Yeah. Well, number one, all dating apps have an aspect ratio of four or three, which means they're vertical photos. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're taking a photo horizontally like this, you're forcing yourself to have to crop and punch in on your photo, which is really gonna impact the quality. So as a general rule of thumb, always go vertical mode okay. for your photos. Um, number two, I love that you use a nice low angle. 
we typically find that these make men look a lot more dominant, tall, and more masculine. So I really like that you do that. And I also like that you're showing off your jawline in this photo. I just think the biggest thing is like your style. I think we could definitely upgrade your fit here. Have more of like a layered kind of like fuckboy fit as well as you look really young in this photo. It looks like it was taken a few years ago. Yeah, it's been a few years. And you can almost tell by the photo quality because over time, iPhones get better every year. So if you took a photo back in 2018, it's obvious that that photo was taken in 2018. And that's why for your profile makeover, we're gonna take some iPhone photos, but the majority of them are gonna be pro quality photos that never age. In fact, they just get better with time. And the idea here is to give you a Tinder profile that's gonna set you up for success for the long run. That way you can go out, you can clap those cheeks, and when you're ready and you meet that special someone, you can hang up your gloves, pump some babies in the girl. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds good, man. We talked about it. Talked about it. Ness, I would never do a profile makeover blind. I never go into a photo shoot without preparing someone for their shoot. So leading up to the shoot, you and I have jumped on a couple calls to get you ready. Yes. Now there is something we discussed on these calls, Ness. Something very particular. Gym, hairstyle, bum bum, um, and style. So I want to make sure you're just like as prepared as possible, Nestor. Like, that's only four weeks away, man. I'm gonna go to the gym like every day until I get to Medellin, man. That's what yeah. that's the goal right now. We're gonna take you shopping. Style's not an issue. We're gonna get you a haircut. I like that you grew it out. We're gonna be able to sculpt you to success. Skincare, you stuck to your routine. Your skin looks clear, cool, under control. But that fourth pillar of preparation mess. You texted me a couple weeks ago and said, Hunter, I've been busy. I haven't been hitting the gym. I haven't stuck to the diet plan. What happened, bro? I was busy. Yeah, that's what I can say. Been focusing on my business, trying to grow without. That I didn't put much, put much effort into like losing weight. Yeah, that's it. You know, Ness, like being a top 1% man, it takes versatility. You know, Ness, in life, there's really three pillars of self-improvement to becoming a top 1% man. Health, wealth, relationships. Right now, it sounds like you've been focusing on the wealth the aspect, wealth. Yes. which as a man, to be honest, is one of the most important points of your life. But to be a high value man, you can't neglect the other two. Because if you only focus on one, the other two suffer, you become one-sided and it can take you down a very dark path. And sometimes I work with guys who have done that in life. They've just focused on finance. They've neglected the other two. And it takes you down a dark hole that is hard to pull you out. And I don't want to see you going down that hole, bro. In order to become the best version of yourself, you do really need to have all three of these taken care of. Your business is taking care of your wealth. This profile makeover will take care of your relationships. But without health, you will never be the best version of yourself. It's so important. And it's the reason why months ago, Ness, I gave you a diet plan. I gave you a fitness plan. I said, this is very important. You must follow it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. You let me down, bro. I know, man. I try. Ness, I want this bad. This is all I do, bro. I want to give you an extreme Tinder makeover. But I got to know, bro, like, how bad do you want this? How bad do you want it? I've been excited. I was waiting for this day to come. How bad I want it? After failing you, man, I feel bad. But I do want this change. This is stream makeover, man. It's not something random, something that I shouldn't care of. Because I know I want to change. And if I want to change, I got to do what is hard. Because what's hard is what's worth. Nothing easy comes to people that don't work hard for it. Things will get hard. You will be pushed to the limit. And there will be times where you feel like you need to quit. But I only work with winners. So I need to know, are you just playing not to lose or are you playing to win? Because if you're here for a good time, you just want to quit 
and say, I did my best. Oh, well, it didn't work. Get out, bro. Just leave now. Don't waste my time. Like, how serious are you, bro? Bro, I took a flight to get here. That's how bad I was. You know, it's not cheap for me, but I wanted to get, get it done, get it out of the way, not deal with it anymore. I've been trying for eight years, nothing happened. That's how I, I, I want it. That's why I'm here, man. I'm not trying to quit. I'm trying to be one of the best guys out here. All right. That's what I needed to hear. Because your story, bro, it hits me too close to home to let you fail. And I won't fail you. But I need to know that you won't fail me. Let me ask you this, Ness. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to make this work? Yes. Good. This is extreme Tinder makeover. It's not for the faint of heart. There will be times where we push you to the limit. We push you to the brink of failure. But in order to achieve greatness, sometimes we need to plow down what was built before us and start new. Get some good sleep tonight because tomorrow morning I'm coming in and we're going to begin your transformation in the most extreme way possible. Be ready. Fucking excited about it. Ness, every villain has an origin story. Now I know yours. It's made you fucking easy. We're going to give you an extreme Tinder makeup. It's 5 a.m. right now. I'm so tired, bro. Chad, how many hours of sleep did you get last night? I only got three hours. I was up editing and doing a card dump. Don't lie, bro. You were clapping cheeks all night. <laughs> <laughs> so the boys are exhausted. Obviously a late night, no sleep. But dude, I'm legitimately disappointed that Ness slacked on his fitness plan. Like I told him specifically, this will affect your results, bro. And he slacked. And today we're up at 5 a.m. because we're going to hold him accountable. We're going to see how bad he wants it. We're going to take Ness on the hardest hike in Colombia. We're literally climbing Colombian Mount Everest this morning at 5 a.m. If he can't make it to the top, we're sending him home. But if he makes it to the top, we'll give him an extreme Tinder makeover. I can guarantee this is gonna be the toughest challenge he's ever experienced in life. You guys think he can do it, or do you think he's screwed? Let me know down in the comments below. Pound that like button, hit subscribe. Let's go wake this guy up. Okay, we're gonna go wake up Ness. Pound that like button, hit subscribe, let's go. Yesterday I started swiping on hinge and I was trying to go to bed to wake up early for this. Bro, my hinge is just blowing up, so it was like very hard to sleep at night. These are all matches just from yesterday. Check it out, bro. This good though. Yeah, bro. This could be you, man. But first, we have to figure out how bad you want it, bro. You guys woke me up this morning, man. That was insane, bro. How you feeling, buddy? Looking ready for this shit now. You gotta take it down? Yeah. Yeah, me too, bro. He is Philip. We are here. I got someone very, very special I want you to meet. Nice. You guys remember Philip from our last profile makeover, flew down to Columbia, life changing photo shoot. Now we're gonna do it for someone else, bro. Someone in need, someone who really needs to get some cheeks clapped. I want to introduce it. you to my boy Ness. What's up, Ness? How's it going? Nice to meet you. Up, oh, let's go. Arriba, arriba, rapido. Oh! While Ness is running up this mountain, I have to tell you about an exciting giveaway. I just dropped the best dating program for men in the entire world, the online dating cheat code. So everyone who's in the online dating cheat code by May 1st will be entered into a draw and one lucky winner can fly out to work with me one-on-one -on -one for a free, extreme Tinder makeover. 
Click the link down in the description. Join the online dating cheat code right now and enter for your chance to win your own extreme Tinder makeover. All right, Ness, let's go, buddy. Who's gonna pull the matches? Who's gonna pull the baddies? Who's gonna clap the cheeks? Let's go! How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. This hike is really, really hard. This is the biggest mountain in Colombia. I love hiking, but I've never been on something at this altitude, and it's making me feel really sick. But I can't say that in front of Nestor. My job to motivate him, make him feel like it's possible. I'm feeling everything he's feeling right now, but we're in this together, and I can't let him down. Because if I let him down, he won't be able to go through with this. Guys, you're on Extreme Tinder Makeover. No more easy, free Tinder makeovers, guys. If you want to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, you got to be willing to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. Like a dog. Hola. Dude, dogs hate me today. What is going on? <laughs> so, Ness, we're about 100 meters to the top of the mountain. How bad do you want the Tinder makeover, bro? Really bad, man. Almost there. Almost make it. Good. So, what we're going to do is a little challenge. If you get to the top of the mountain before Philip, you get the Tinder makeover. Bruh. If Philip gets to the mountain before you, we got to fly you home with no Tinder makeover. <sighs> I'm not taking it easy on you, man. Fuck. <laughs> you think you could take him on, bro? I can do it. How bad do you want it? I can do it. Show me how bad you want I can it. Let's go, it. baby. <laughs> Let's go, Ness. Let's go, baby. Let's go. How are you feeling, bro? I feel like I want to throw it out, bro. That wasn't easy. <laughs> no, it was not. Man. It was a long ass ride up here, man. But it was worth it. Proud of you, bro. We made it. Look at the view, bro. Literally taking Tinder makeover to new heights. So if you haven't yet, pound that like button, hit subscribe. Nestor, I'm so proud of you, bro. You faced the adversity. Honestly, bro, the whole time we were doing that hike, I was feeling everything you were feeling. I didn't want to do it, but I didn't want to let you down, you know? And as your coach, as your mentor, it's on me to make sure you succeed and you don't fail. And as disappointed as I was in you, Nestor, yesterday, you made it up to me today. You've earned a lot of my respect and I'm on your team. It's gonna be hard, man, but we're here, we made it. Ness, your story really resonated with me. The breakup that you went through was very similar to my heartbreaking experience. And I know how hard it is to move on and stop being impacted by that. But one thing that really helps, bro, is to just release all of your feelings and let them go. And what I want you to do right now, is I want you to take this piece of paper and I want you to tell her how you feel. Tell her everything. Everything she put you through, bro, all those shitty nights you had, laying awake, think about her with another guy, tell her how you feel about it, man. Put it on paper. We're gonna give you a few minutes to do that in private. Take as much time as you need. Put it all down. Let's get him on. You got this, bro? I got it. All right, we'll give you some time. This is a trick that I learned by studying psychology. Abraham Lincoln used to write letters to all the generals who would betray him in battle. Scathing letters saying nasty, horrible, personal things to them. But Abraham Lincoln never sent these nasty letters. He used it as a way to vent, a way to clear his mind and release his trauma. The whole point of putting these words to paper is to get it out of your head, out of your heart and move on. But if you send these letters over to the person you're writing them to, you'll never move on because guess what, bro? They're gonna write you a letter back. They're gonna live in your head rent free forever. One of the easiest ways to get over a breakup, especially a nasty one, is to use the Abraham Lincoln technique. Write her a nasty letter saying everything you feel, how she destroyed you, broke your heart, 
get very personal, cut deep. And once you write that letter, just destroy it and never think of her again. It's been a long day. Feeling emotional now. On the way here, I was thinking about my ex, the one I told you about. And even though I don't have too much to say, I do have something for her. I just wanna say, fuck you. I thought you really liked me. I couldn't really sleep because of you asking myself why. Why did you leave? I thought you were really into me, man. You didn't care. You just left without explaining anything. You changed me for someone else. But thanks. That made me change. This time I won't look back. I'm stronger and better. Better times are coming. With love, Ness. Dude, that was cold. How does it make you feel writing that down? Saying it out loud? Makes me remember what happened, but it reminds me, man, that we have to change for the best. <laughs> I'm here for a team, Tinder Extreme Makeover, man. Not some bullshit. I'm here to change. Change my fucking future. Change for the better, man. You know, Ness, every man in life needs to feel unconditional love and an immense heartbreak that destroys you, forces you to recreate and reinvent who you are as a person. This is your moment, Ness, to become the best version of yourself, to put it all on the line, put the old you behind, and start a new life. Men who feel that pain accept nothing but the best. In a way, Ness, as much pain as that caused you, I can say from my own personal experience that I know it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. It was. It made me change, man. Look where I am, bro. Far away from home. I'm here for a change, not some bullshit. You're on top of the tallest mountain in Colombia, man. Look around. Look at this view. Tremendous. Tremendous, man. Let's take in the view for a couple more moments and begin your extreme Tinder makeover. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go, bro. That was a really powerful speech, man. You had me by the heartstrings. Seriously, man. I felt that. Yeah. I've been holding it for a long time, man. Mm. We've all been through it, so. I just did the same thing that you're gonna do. Hunter knows exactly what he's doing. It's a well oiled machine at this point. I know, man. That's why I'm here. Yeah. You gotta know that he's the best, man. The only way to climb a mountain is one step after another. So, uh, I see him, man. You got this. Just take your first step. Don't worry about the top, just worry about your next step. Popping chicks. Let's Left go. All right, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of crazy to think we're in the tallest mountain in Colombia right now. One of the seven wonders of the world. We're just built different, boys. Built different. Yeah, yeah. Si es casualidad que yo me sienta así Siempre que tú estás cerquita de mí Dime que... So much of the time when guys aren't getting matches on dating apps They think the apps are rigged or that they need to buy a bunch of boosts and super likes I look at these guys profiles and 9 times out of 10 They look like they haven't had a haircut in 6 months Present yourself that way Women often just think you look unhygienic. A good haircut can literally make you two points more attractive. So when you are getting a haircut, you want to find a good barber. Don't go to the cheapest place in town. Find someone that specializes in men's hair. You pay a little bit more, but you get such a better cut when you go to a real expert. Yes. Went through the extreme hike this morning. You made it to the top of the mountain. You earned your place on Extreme Tinder Makeover. Today, the makeover begins, and we started off with the best barber in Medellin for a sick haircut. You ready, bro? Yeah, I'm ready, man. We're good. Let's do this, baby. <laughs> Tu mama, te 
voy a dar la permanencia Ese totito es la eminencia Pa' darle tengo licencia Desde que fuimos a Florencia Se puso más picha Pero no pierde la esencia No, no, de Carola No, 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 anda sola No, 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 le diga hola O va a hacer otro pa' la cola Damn, dude. Do you even recognize yourself? It's a new guy. It's a different guy. It's a different man right there. It is. Dude, that man is always right here. The chicas don't stand a chance now, eh? No, they don't. Dude. Dude. Yo, you look like a fuck boy, bro. Yeah, Holy shit. Muchas gracias, que por mi padre, por el esquema. Gracias, chido. Nice. Looks good, dude. How's it look? Looks sick. The goatee looks good, too. How does that feel? Feels good, man. Yeah. Like a new man. Become a new man. Yeah. Can't wait for tomorrow, man. Yeah, well, we still got more to do today. I think we get you a it's a new bunch of clothes. And then tomorrow we're gonna do the photo show. So Ness, we're here at El Tesoro Mall. We're gonna get you set up with some tight outfits to complete your fuckboy ensemble. But first, one of my chicas actually works at the mall. She said, hey baby, I'm really tired. Can you bring me a coffee? She might have some cute co-workers for you too, buddy. I can introduce you. What is that to do, Rota, babe? Ella, mira, que si le dan un besito, un besito. Ah, si? Besitos? Si. Vamos. Ay, Vamos. Un besito. Un besito. Un besito. Un besito. I love Colombia. She said she does have a an Amiga, but okay. she's not working today. Oh. So we got some hot leads. You know what we might be able to do is uh, set up a date for you out here, bro. Okay. Extreme yeah. Tinder date. How'd you feel about that? Bro, I'll be so good. I think your new energy with that haircut is just getting the girls fired up out here, you know? I know. Look at that chick. She's looking at me, bro. Which one? Right there with the glasses, she was looking at me. A customer? Yeah, a customer. You want to go talk to her? She was just like following me, bro. Just go say hi. Say, hey, look. I'm gonna go shopping, but do you have WhatsApp? Yeah. Just go ask her. Okay. Here, I'll take your backpack so you look cooler. You got this, buddy. I'm leaving you. Bro. What happened, bro? She was down for it. Yeah? She was like, I'll give you my YouTube. You got her Instagram? Yeah. That's fine. Let's go, baby. Let's go, bro. Oh, that's that's huge. How do you feel, man? Bro, it feels so good to just fucking do it. That's she what I'm was saying. like, she got this huge smile. She was like, what's happening? That's the crazy thing is most of us get anxiety about talking to a pretty girl in public, but women love to be approached, especially when she was already giving you signals that she was into you. Okay. In those situations, I like to do what's called the 10 second rule. If you see a sign of interest, you gotta go talk to her within 10 seconds, or else your nerves will build up, you'll overthink it, and you won't act. Bro, thank you. I got Seriously. you, bro. The first part of any Tinder makeover wardrobe is the white shoes. You've heard of white privilege? You've probably never heard of white shoe privilege before. Back in the olden days, only the richest people like the kings and the noblemen would be able to wear white shoes because everyone else was a peasant and if they wore white shoes, they'd get dirty very quickly. That means there are thousands of years of human evolution baked into us that see white shoes and associate it with status, authority, and prestige. That's built into our DNA now. And we want to play up on that psychology by including white shoes in all of our outfits. It always makes your outfit pop. It literally matches everything. It's the most versatile part of every man's wardrobe. So let's find you some cool white shoes, man. Okay, let's go.
look at her, but she's cute. Dude, she's hot. I know, that's it. You just pulled a bad She's dude. cute, bro. Dude, I'm pumped. Pound that like button for Ness. That was the first time you've ever approached I ever girl. did like that, bro. I ever mm -hmm. did it. Do you have any limiting beliefs, any fears? What we're all about on Extreme Tinder Makeover is just breaking those down and being the best version of yourself. So if you're aligned with that, you wanna work with us one-on-one, -on -one, hit the link down in the description of this video, apply for your own profile makeover. We don't film them all, but we do photo shoots around the world every single day. All right, bro, we shopped till we dropped. We got a ton of nice fits for you for the shoot. How are you feeling, buddy? Man, these outfits are gonna make me look so good. I tried them on, everything looks perfect, man. I think we have everything we need to give you an extreme Tinder makeover. I'm fired up. Here's what we'll do. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we'll meet up. We'll start banging out photos for your profile. Try not to get too drunk. Avoid the tequila. Let's just try to have a noche tranquilo. Okay. Y mañana tomemos tus fotos. Tomorrow's the day, man. Can't wait for it. Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Fire it up. Keep that momentum going from that chica, too, okay? Okay. I'll hit her up and see what's up. Yeah, yeah. Slide in. So right. Ask her if she likes Shrek, you know? It's the best line, bro. The Shrek line. Shrek. Yeah, it's killer. Shrek and chill. Fuck yeah, bro. Sounds good. All right, buddy. Much love. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. All right, day of the shoot. How you feeling, buddy? Bro, I'm ready for days. Look at me. All fresh. Damn, dude. If someone just watched the first interview of the video and then they skip right to this part, they'd be like, that's not the same guy. Bro, such a huge change from there. It's too much. I'm on a new different guy, man. Just look at me. Yeah, you look like a reggaeton star. There you go. Oh, you're iced out too. Yeah, bro. Jeez. The... Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. I kind of like that there's a bird in the background right now. Yeah, it's good. Kind of works out perfectly. Dude, what a view, eh? Take that in. Bro, it's a bit of a view. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Dang. First photo. <laughs> How does it feel to see yourself like that, Ness? Bro, I look like a rock star for real, bro. You are a rock star. Always thinking ahead, man. When it comes to the profile makeovers, it's all in the details. So he's thinking, he's thinking ahead. I see a lot of like dating photo shoot companies. What I've learned for doing this for the past few years is that it's all in the details and the details are all in the preparation. That's why with Ness, we didn't just tell him, hey, fly to Columbia and let's hope for the best. We jumped on calls of months leading up to this to have him fully prepared. You see how comfortable Ness is on camera for our first photo. It's because he went over all of his different looks, his angles, how to pose for photos. That way, when we are taking the photos, we can just bang them out super efficiently. Super happy with how these rooftop photos turned out with Ness. So now we got him to change his outfit and we're gonna head to the second location for a nice iPhone photo. All right, Ness, so the idea for this photo is basically we wanna capture an image like you're on a date or catching up with an old friend and they're excited to see you, they're excited to show that they're with you, so they put up a story on their Instagram of you guys together grabbing a coffee. Okay. So the photo shoot's going well, but Naz, we got a couple surprises for you later in the video, bro. Are they gonna be that hard? I think you're gonna get pretty hard, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So guys, stick around. We got a lot of crazy content coming up in the video. If you haven't yet, make sure you pound that like button. Support Ness, give us a follow. Give us a subscribe on the channel. Guys, road to 100K. Let's go, baby. Tinder makeover, taking over the world. Bro. Yeah, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You look like nice. Peso Pluma, bro. So, Nestor, your profile was giving off nice guy vibes before. 
So the goal is to make you look like a bad boy today. Uh -huh. There's nothing more badass than a cool cigar photo. So let's get this one going. Let's go, man. This looks so cool, man. Paparazzi Dude, pose. he looks like a gangster, man. Paparazzi pose. But he literally looks like El Chapo in these photos, man. Bro, I look like a gangster for real. Look at me, goddammit. Bandito. Subscribe to the channel and enjoy, boys, because this video is insane. This outfit's so clean on you, man. All black with white shoes. Yeah, it's a good outfit, man. How are you feeling? Bro, I feel so confident with this thing on. Yeah. This is so nice, man. So this one, that fun energy you found in the rooftop, keep that energy. Yeah. yeah, nice, fun, relaxed, confident. Yeah. Keep that energy going. Let's go. Me queda un por ciento Y lo usaré solo para decirte lo mucho que lo siento Que si me ven con otra en una disco solo es perdiendo el tiempo Baby, pa' que te miento Eso de que me vieron feliz no lo es cierto Ya nada me hace reír Solo cuando veo las fotos Y los videos que tengo de ti Salí con otra para olvidarte Dog photos are a must on the dating app. You know, women are 30% more likely to swipe right if there's a cute dog on your profile. And so far we've taken just a bunch of complete F-boy photos of Nestor. <laughs> so it's good to have a nice, you know, cute vibe. Have the glasses on for once, throw a nice little flannel, and show girls that look. I'm not just on rooftops smoking cigars, clapping cheeks every day, you know? I'm boyfriend material too. It's important. Hola, señor, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Cómo se llama? Mango. Mango. Hola, Mango. Hola. Es, señor, tengo una pregunta un poquito extraño, pero mi amigo necesita una foto por su uh, Tinder. Sí. Los chicos le gustan una foto con un uh, perrito muy bonito. ¿Es posible <risa> para tomar una foto con tu perro muy rápido? Sí. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. The chemistry with Mango is all time right now. They're so in love. You can just feel the passion between Ness and Mango right now. It's beautiful to watch. Bro, that was, that was a beautiful dog. He was pulling me though, strong dog. Yeah, who's walking who? Ooh, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> How are those looking, buddy? Ooh, that photo is good. That's such a good dog photo, bro. Yeah. Yeah, oh, dude, these are sick, man. Wow! That's a good one. That wow. looks so good, man. Yeah, nice. I'm happy. Yeah, those are dope. I'm happy. All right. Cool. I think that's a record time for fastest dog photo in the history of Tinder makeover. We've been here for like, what, two minutes? Two minutes, well, two minutes and we already got a dog <laughs> photo. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, what's next, Chad? Mountaintop photo, looking down on the city. The Batman photo, as we like to call it. Can I get your, I'm Batman? Batman. Batman. Say, where is Rachel? Where is Rachel? <laughs> Where's the last photo? Where is it? Where is it? I want to get out of here. <laughs> I want to go home. Nestor, shout out. You're natural on camera, buddy. Thanks, man. Killing it. Yeah, you're crushing it, bro. <laughs> okay. Nestor, here we are on top of the Mirador, overlooking the beautiful city of Medellin. You know, when we first met earlier this week, you were a shell of your current self. But I saw the fire in your eyes, Ness. I knew you weren't a quitter. 
you climbed the mountain, you got the number, you released your trauma in the form of a letter, you got a complete style overhaul, and the man that stands before me today, I don't even recognize from the man just a few days ago. I'm so proud of how far you've come, bro. Say a few words to the camera. After this makeover, man, things are just gonna go up, up and up and up and up, man. I wanna take the advice you gave me this is, man. Not just be this guy on the picture, but actually become it. Become the man on the picture. We could take anyone from around the world and give him an extreme profile makeover, take fancy photos and send him on his way. But is that really helping him become the best version of himself? Not really. That's why an extreme profile makeover, it's more than just a photo shoot. This is a life-changing transformation. This is turning men into the best version of themselves and giving them a plan to keep improving throughout life, to become a top 1% man. And I know that if you stay on this path, Ness, you're gonna be a top 1% man, not only with girls, not only at work, not only with fitness, but holistically. But it doesn't stop here. If you think about it, bro, this is just the beginning of a new chapter of your life. And I'm so pumped to be a part of it. Now we got one more photo to do. Let's crush this photo and grab some dinner, all right, buddy? Ness doesn't know this yet, but I actually have a huge surprise for him after the photo shoot. I put a story of him up on my Instagram, and one of my girlfriends reached out and said, hey, that guy's really cute. So what we've actually done is set up a date for Ness. He has no idea right now. Make sure you subscribe and stick around for the end of the video because Ness is actually about to go on a blind date with an absolute baddie and he has no idea. This date's gonna be crazy, you don't wanna miss it. So hit subscribe and keep watching the video, guys. It doesn't just end with the photo shoot. It gets so much better from here. All right, let's give an Esther a call here. I've got some exciting news for him. Buddy, um, I got some exciting news for you. What's up, what's up? Yesterday during our shoot, I put a photo of you on my story and one of my chicas actually DM me and said, hey, is that your friend? Oh, shit. And I was like, yeah, it's my buddy Ness. He's actually just in town from Mexico doing some modeling right now. And uh, she said, you know what? You should set me up on a date with your buddy Ness. Damn. Cool. Do you have any questions about her? How does she look? I don't know. Dude, she's an absolute baddie, bro. Okay. Try not to sound too excited, buddy. <laughs> All right, Ness, her name's Juliana. She's gonna meet us at the arcade bar at seven. What I need you to do, shower, put on your best fit, be at my house in 10 minutes, okay? Okay, I'll get the shower and get going then. All right, sounds good, buddy. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. I've never seen Ness so thrilled in his life, bro. <laughs> right now, we have a date set up for Ness. He's gonna freshen up, he's gonna head over, and I'm gonna run him through my foolproof system to win the first date every time. So he literally can't fumble this date. So let's go, boys. All right, so I think Nestor's just about to pull up. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Ness, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? How are you, bro? Good, man. Dude, you're looking fresh, my guy. Ready for your big day? Yeah, man. I'm surprised about that, bro. I didn't expect that. Dude, you're on uh, Extreme Tinder Makeover. You gotta expect the unexpected. There you go. We got some big things in store for you, but first, we've got the dream date of a lifetime with an eligible bachelorette, a real Fiona. And not the ogre version, like the hot version. Wow. Can't wait to see her, man. I, I, I don't have expectations, so I just want to see her. I almost want to leave it a surprise. i let you see her for the first time in person, because I think you're going to be blown away. Can't wait, man. Let's, let's sit down, bro. I got something to tell you. So, Ness, we got a big date for you tonight. You excited, bro? Oh, yeah, man. What I found, man, is that a lot of guys, they get nervous on the first date, and they make a few common mistakes. What are those, man? I'm glad you asked. The biggest thing when you're on a first date, you want to get to know her. What most guys do is they start over talking and trying to sell themselves on the date and nothing dries women up faster. So instead, I like to focus on the 70-30 rule. Her talking 70% of the time and you only talking 30% of the time. Find a topic that you can tell she's passionate about and then dive deep. 
All right, the next thing, Ness, and this is super important, is breaking the touch barrier. So when you first meet her, give her a hug. Give her a kiss on the cheek. Tell her, wow, you look great. Find something in her outfit to compliment her about. Like, oh, I love your, your red shoes. They remind me of Little Red Riding Hood. Like, find something specific and point it out because if you haven't broken the touch barrier earlier in the date, it feels like a giant leap of faith to go for a kiss at the end of the date to the point where you'll, you might not even go for it. Most importantly, Ness, the goal of a date is to get to know someone new and have fun. So don't put too much pressure on the outcome. Instead, just avoid making those common mistakes and have fun with the process. One thing I like to do before my date is what I call the power pose. You wanna hold this for 30 to 40 seconds and it will literally change your brain chemistry, bro. Keep that energy through the whole date. I feel really strong, man. Let's go, let's feel it. You got this, bro. You feel that tea flowing through your veins now, eh? Yeah. Let's go, baby. Hola, hola. It's my big on Nesta. Hola. 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 Muy bien. Nesta uh, tiene un date, una cita esta noche. Ah, tienes una date? ¿Con quién? Ah, que no sé, otro. Juliana. ¿Con Juliana? Sí. Ah, sí. Do you have any advice for Nesta? Ah, bueno, Juliana es súper divertida. Sí. Es muy divertida. Pero no sé si es divertida. Muy divertida. Sí, muy hermosa. Muy bien, hermosa. Good job. Get on film. Not bad, eh? Yeah, pretty good, man. Not bad. That's Just... actually uh, Juliana's friend. Okay. She strategically left her credit card in my bed so she could come see me again. But I said, look, I'm working today. I'm working with Nestor. I'm giving him an extreme Tinder makeover. I can't clap your cheeks today. Okay? It's got to be another day. Bro, these are the sacrifices I'm making for you, bro. She's a kid, girl, bro. Wait till you see her friend. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. ¿Cómo estás? Mucho gusto, Juliana. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. ¿Dice que sabes inglés? Ya, yeah, un poco. ¿Poco? Bueno, de preferencia Spanish. ¿Qué haces acá? Ah, vine de negocios, básicamente. Qué bueno. O sea. Super, ¿y qué expectativas tienes? Simplemente. Fluyendo, ya. fluir. Fluyendo. Qué bueno, super. Vamos o sea, a disfrutar. ¿Hace cuánto que tú eres de acá? Sí, yo soy de acá. Sí, vivo acá y todo acá. ¿Y qué es lo que más te encanta a ti de este lugar de donde naciste? Me encanta el clima, aunque a veces eh, últimamente he hecho demasiado calor. Ah. Y tal, mira, en este momento estoy sudando. Sí, me imagino. Yo soporto bien. a veces mucho calor. Tú sabes, los colombianos y más los países nos caracterizamos por ser muy amables, muy, muy cálidos. Me trae dos, dos pujoros. Dos Así es. ¿Qué es? De yo sé, pero vamos a ver qué es. ¿Pero ah, es alcohol? Ah, hopefully no. ¿No te gusta alcohol? Ah, ahorita no, quiero estar tranquilito. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde me veo? No sé. Es que me dicen que mi, me siento medio de la tapa por ejemplo. ¿México? Es. Así en México. Nací en México, pero también crecí en Estados Unidos, por eso que sé inglés. Claro, entiendo. ¿Y tú a qué te dedicas? En ese momento estoy libre a mí. Yo trabajaba con una compañía de Turquía, uh -huh. pero hace poco terminé con él en el sistema. Eso, eso. ¿Para ti qué te gustaría hacer? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer? Cuando era pequeña, decía que quería ser como médica. Pero no, cuando crecí me di cuenta que no. Mejor no. <risa> soy una persona muy libre. Ah. Oye, ¿y ese tatuaje de qué es? Parece hermoso. Ya la verdad, el tatuaje es toda una historia. ¿Qué es la historia de esto entonces? Ah, ¿y te quieres saber la historia? Sí. Bueno, esto es como el despertar espiritual, ¿sabes? Ah, oh, sí, sí lo veo. Este es el karma. Lo que tú das recibes. Eso significa esto, el karma. Ok. Esto significa como el ojo. Que todo lo ve, que siempre está viendo todo. Que siempre es always watching you, que siempre te está mirando. Exacto, por ejemplo acá dice energy. Ah, ok, energy. ¿Y tú no tienes tatuajes? Quisiera ponerme, me gusta mucha canción, habla muy pesado, es peso, pluma, bomba, todo eso. Ah, sí, 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 sí. No, pero representa mucho para mí, quisiera tatuármelo aquí, las letras. Así como tienes tú. Acá dice como fluir es un eterno florecer. Ah. Es como que, que fluir con la vida. Uh -huh. 
¿Sabes? Lo que fluye es lo que se da, lo que se fuerza. ¿Te gusta? ¿Qué música te gusta? ¿Te gusta reggaetón? Ah, me encanta reggaetón. Ajá, Aquí sale el reggaetón, ¿verdad? ¿Pero cuál es tu música favorita? Los cabellos tumbados. Me gusta mucho. Sí. Con la guitarra, cómo suena, no sé si lo he escuchado. Peso pluma. Ah, es okay. muy famosísimo sí, ahorita. Sí, sí. Además lo fui a ver en vivo y... O sea, te pone a ver... Dice hay cosas muy locas, pero pues, te pone a saltar sí. ahí. Bueno. ¿Cómo bailar es eso? No, eso es como reggaetón. Como... <risas> pero siento que eso, eso tiene que ir más despacio. Así. Depende, puede ser. Es como, tienes como pelo, ¿cómo se dice? Rizado. Crespo, o Crespo. rizado. Me ¿Te encanta. gusta? Gracias. Natura. Eh. Wow. ¿Se te que salir? Ah, ok, ok. Wow. Voy. Salud. Por ti. Bueno, ¿qué te parece después de esto? Te reto una partida de boli. Ay, ay, si quieres, aunque la verdad solo he jugado una vez y me fue muy mal. Te voy a aniquilar. Seguro. Esto no, 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 no puedo jugar así nomás porque sí. Tiene que haber algo. ¿Qué? Una apuesta. Si tú ganas, sí. te dejo que me des un beso. Pero si yo gano. Tú eliges qué me va a pasar. Si yo gano... Te dejo que me beses. ¿Y quién dijo que yo te quiero besar? Esa puerta está muy rara. Muy rara, yo lo sé. Y si tú ganas... Tú eliges lo que me va a pasar. ¿Va? ¿Rato? He hecho. Pero un beso. Un beso. Ok, sigues. Dale. Dale, dale, que vas ganando. Yo me quedo mi tomar. Ah, falta. Empate. Dale, 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 dale. Perdiendo de gusto. Uh, uh, no me tiente pues. Yo puedo con todo. Dale, dale, a ver pues. A ver, hola. Tal vez quiero perder. No. Bueno. por aquí. Ah, ya llegó. Sí, bueno, ahí Te lo voy a hacer como si nunca superas como tomando tequila. 
primero pues se baña con limón. Primero limón. Primero limón, le haces así, mira. Le haces así. Y queda bonito. Le agregas el chilito. A tu gusto, como ¿no? Al centro y para adentro. Fuerte, Marita. Fuertesísimo. Ok, me toca. Ok, so she's like, um, what are you losing? She's thinking that I'm doing it on purpose. I wasn't doing it, but right now I'm gonna get that kiss, so I'm gonna do it on purpose. Just watch me. You make me nervous, so I really can't eat. Let's go, don't wait. All right. It's almost over. Honest, let's make it. Ya sé que yo perdí. Yo gané. Y tú ganaste. Pero te acuerdas de la apuesta. Te voy a pagar porque yo soy okay. buena ganadora. Ok. Y gané. ¿Por qué no me das tu WhatsApp y veremos si salimos otra vez? Claro, claro, sí, anótalo. Ahí nos hablamos a ver cuándo nos volvemos a ver. Antes de que te vayas. Está bien. Gracias. Muchas gracias por todo. Alright, man. This week I came to Medellín, no expectations at all. I wasn't expecting anything, man. But thanks to you, bro. Thanks to all these people here. I made a huge change for my life. Nothing has been the same since a week ago, man. Monday we got that run, uh, we went to the hill, you know. That was a tough moment, man. I wanted to give up. I didn't want to keep going. I was like, fuck this, I don't want to keep going. But you pushed me, bro. You pushed the fuck out of me. You got me these amazing photos. You got me these amazing adventures. I never had, had experienced anything like this, bro. So, I just wanna give a toast, man, to you, bro. And to everyone else here, bro, who's here making it happen for us, man. Arriba, abajo, al centro, y pa' dentro. Hablando claro, tengo un problema Es que rápido me enchulo de las nenas Si me hablan lindo yo me caso sin dilema Y me las como a desayuno, almuerzo y cena Me gustan tic y también skinny Uh, modelitos que no quepan en la mini Ey, pelirroja con pequitas que se vini Ey, morenita con risitos de Kissimi Baby, esto no es un flex Pero si tú quieres te costeo no es solo el sex Baby, I'm a gentleman Dude, Ness has come so fucking far. Guys, have a like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment for Ness in support of this Tinder Makeover Journey. If you join the online dating cheat code by May 1st, you'll be entered into a draw to get a Tinder Makeover of your own. Fly out to us, me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, and get your own extreme 
Tinder makeover. So click the link in the description, join the online dating cheat code, and we'll literally show you how to become a top tier F boy in just 14 days. Everything from mindset, confidence, how to build a profile that attracts women, how to text girls from match to date in less than 15 texts. Over 15 full match to date texting examples. My first date formula, my Netflix and chill checklist, relationship mastery, roster secrets, club game secrets, Instagram secrets. It's all in there. This program will literally change your life or your money back. So join now and enter into a draw to win a Tinder makeover just like Ness had. Look at his transformation, boys. You're up next. Join the online dating Chico today. Get lifetime access to our community. And I will see you there, boys. Let's go. Fucking go. Ness, I gotta say, your journey is nothing short of inspiring. Despite all odds, despite your limiting beliefs, and all the doubts you had going into this process, it's safe to say that this is the most extreme Tinder makeover we've ever done at Wingman Plus. And I'm just so pumped for you, bro. Dude, these weeks that we've been working on this, it has been a roller coaster, man. When I came to you, bro, I didn't expect what I now have experienced. It's been such a change, bro, like I cannot even tell you how grateful I am, bro. From now on, bro, everything's just different for me. Like you said, bro, I was one of those guys who didn't believe that it could be possible. But when I came to you, bro, you showed me the way, man. Yeah, Ness, like, you flew to Colombia, you climbed a mountain, you earned your Tinder makeover. We took six banger photos for your Tinder profile. We set you up on a date, you kissed her, we took you to the club, you danced with the hottest girls in the room, and bro, you clapped cheeks. Bro, I started, I uploaded the photos you got me. Which were so sick, bro. Like the first photo you got me, I looked like a gangster, bro. Like a real gangster. It's a killer photo, Brian. I'm gonna even print it so I can have that thing in my room, bro. Just, I look so good, bro. Thanks to Mr. Chad too, bro, behind the cameras. Bro, he made me look so cool with that photo. But, so after I uploaded my photos, started swiping, bro. Bro, I started getting so many matches, bro. So many matches, I couldn't handle them. I didn't know what to do, bro. So I had to, you know, go back to the basics of texting and all that. But man, I, I matched with some of the hottest girls I have matched, bro. I went on a date with this girl, bro. She made it so easy for me. We just made, within 20 minutes of meeting her, bro, I made out with her. Wow. Everything's just been so different, bro. Tomorrow I'm having another date, bro. Dude. You went from praying to the heavens to tongue wrestling sevens. Before this transformation, bro, like when's the last time you got laid? Ooh, bro, it's been six months. Six months? Six months. It's a long time, bro. It's a long time. Dude, you must have been shooting loads on the ceiling the other night, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the chick from the club, bro, oh my God. Yeah. You gave her the Peter Parker treatment, eh? Just cover her in webs? Just cover her in, oof. She was a rocket too, bro. Mm. The way she was twerking on you, man. Ooh. It's craziness. Coming into your Extreme Tinder makeover, I didn't know what to expect. I was actually a little concerned because I was worried that you didn't want it that bad. We waterboarded you, took you up a mountain, made you earn the Tinder makeover, and I'm so proud of the man you've become. Because bro, when we walked into that club, you were the life of the party. Like the other guys at the booth were asking like, hey, is he the promoter? Like, does he know these girls? Like you've never seen any of those girls before and you walked in like they're all your novias, bro. I was blown away. Like the, the Ness I met just a few days ago is a man of the past. We got like Ness 2.0 here, bro. Bro, he, he's, always be, he's always been there. He just caught me, bro. And there's probably a lot of guys watching this video right now who are in that same boat. They're at that rock bottom. They're going through a breakup or divorce, or maybe they have, they've never been with a girl, but they've just been so let down and so discouraged by how dating is today. 
What do you have to say? Like look into the camera and tell that guy who's watching, tell the guy who was in a position you were in just not long ago, what he should do, bro. Like guys who are gonna come to this, bro, to you to, for help, for help their, their lives are gonna change, man. Just like mine. They don't can, I don't think they can even imagine what happens after you do everything that Hunter tells you to do to change your life, man. Like everything becomes so easy from there on. The change that you did, bro, to me, through your videos, through everything, bro, that just impacted my life, man. I changed the way I dressed. I started doing my skin routine. I started going to the gym, bro. And I felt so much better after that, man. But to the guys who are like in that place where they don't got matches, where they just got break, broken up with, bro, all I can say is like, there is more to this, bro. Just, just keep looking, keep, keep working, keep, um, keep doing, do what you need to do to get out of that place, man. It's not over yet. That's all I can say, man. It only gets better from here, bro. It only gets better from here, yes. Like this Tinder makeover for you was the catalyst you needed to send your life in a different direction. And Ness, now you're reaping the rewards. Like right now, you got the experience most guys never get in a lifetime in just a week by flying out to work with me and my team one-on-one. -on -one. But this is only just the beginning of the rest of your life. And what I want to encourage you to do, Ness, is keep living in the abundance mindset you have right now. And part of having an abundance mindset is helping others who are in need. It's realizing that the world is so big. There's 3.5 billion women out there. You can't possibly clap all those cheeks yourself, bro. Which means you gotta be a wingman. You gotta help those other guys clap cheeks too. Help those guys who are in the position you were in not long ago and pay it forward. That's all I ask of you throughout this entire experience, Ness, is just don't be selfish with the cheeks. Now that you got the riz, you got the looks, you got the confidence, don't be that guy who just steals everyone's girl. Be the guy who hooks people up, who brings people together, who encourages other men and helps them level up. That's what I wanna see you do, bro, because I can only change one life at a time. But if everyone whose life I change changes the lives around them, think of the impact we could have on the world, bro. Like Wingman Plus is not just about me coaching guys and helping them with the Riz. It's about literally changing the world. And that's what I want to prove with you, Ness, and prove to everyone watching this, is that Tinder isn't broken. Most guys are just using it wrong. And when you know what you're doing, bro, you can play the game on easy mode. And that's what you're doing right now, and I couldn't be happier with your results, bro. I'm so fucking proud of you. Bro, like you said, dude. You guys don't know what the fuck they're doing, bro. That's why, like, only a, a certain percentage of the guys are clapping all the cheeks, bro. Yeah. And I saw it for myself. I asked this chick to show me her Tinder. Bro, she's not that good looking at all in her pictures. But, bro, she has over 100 matches, bro. Oh. And she showed me rip guys, Italian guys, all kinds of dudes, bro. Way more above one, you would say. But those guys, even though they're attractive in their profiles, if they're not doing the right thing, they're not getting the clips, the cheeks clap, bro, like you said. Makes you feel like you have a bit of an advantage over even like the most attractive guys, eh? Yeah, man, it's like you said, bro, it's a cheat code, bro. Cause like after reading you how to write to them, text them, all this, it's been so easy, man. Yeah, did you find the online dating cheat code helped you prepare for all of that? Oh, hell yeah, man. It did, a lot. That's, that's where I was able to get these aids, man. Cause otherwise my texting would have been so boring that they just would have swipe left, man. Cause yeah, you can get the best pictures out there, but if you don't know how to text them, nothing's gonna happen. 100%. 100%. Well, Ness, I'm glad the online dating cheat code helped you because let's be honest, it was never about the photos. It's about getting the dates. The photos are only halfway there. So that's why I'm glad we hooked you up with the online dating cheat code. And everyone watching this, if you join the online dating cheat code by May 1st, you can join a contest where one lucky winner can fly out and work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one for your own extreme Tinder makeover. The online dating cheat code is the ultimate dating program for men. There's literally nothing else like it out there. It'll teach you mindset, confidence, seduction secrets, how to understand the mind of a woman, how to build a profile that maximizes your matches, how to text a girl all the way from match to date, 
how to pull second dates, what to do on the date, how to convert dates into relationships, how to have a roster of five women at the same time and make it less work than dating just one woman, and you get lifetime access to the online community. I'm not doing that BS that every other coach out there does with a $99 a month community. Fuck that. Lifetime access to my online community. So like Ness, you can put your screenshots up in the community and get text by text support, not only from me, but like hundreds of other wingmen. So join the online dating cheat code right now. It's literally gonna change your life. There's a link down in the description of this video where you can join it. And if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back because it's that good, I know you'll love it. Ness, I'm so pumped that you took a chance on this and you took a chance on yourself. Let's be honest, you were taking a chance on me a little bit by doing a profile makeover, but it was really your own self-doubts and limitations that you had to overcome to be successful in this process. And I'm just so grateful that you took a shot, you believed in yourself enough to go through with it, and now you're gonna have a lifetime of cheeks ahead of you, bro. I'm so fucking happy for you, man. Come here, bro. Love you, bro. Wingman Plus, baby. Netflix, if you're watching this, I want you. Let's get Extreme Tinder Makeover on Netflix, boys. Pound the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bro, you made it until the end of the video? That means you're one of the few people who watched this video until the very end. And I wanna recognize you, King. So what I want you to do is go down to the comments of this video and comment the word rocket. That's how I know that you're one of the real ones who stuck around to the very, very end. And I wanna reward you for that. So here's the Easter egg. I'm giving away one free Tinder makeover to a lucky fan who's enrolled in the online dating cheat code by May 1st. Now everyone who's enrolled by May 1st will get one entry to this contest, but I wanna give you two entries for making it to the end of this video as a little reward. All you need to do to double your odds and redeem this bonus is when you're in the online dating cheat code and you see the form to apply for this contest, at the very end, there's gonna be a question that asks you if you have any additional comments. What I want you to do right there is comment the word rocket. If you comment the word rocket when you apply for this contest, you're not getting one entry, you're getting two entries, which means your odds are literally twice as high of winning this contest and beating everyone else who applies. So the time is now, King. Go down to the link in the description of this video, join the online dating cheat code, right now. Once you join, you'll see how to enter the contest within the program. And don't forget to use the word rocket, okay? I want you to double your odds because I want you, one of the real ones, one of the real fans, to fly out and work with me one-on-one -on -one for your own extreme Tinder makeover. You guys can see how much work we're putting into the content. We're trying to make this literally a Netflix quality show. And Netflix, if you're watching this, what are you waiting for? Let's get signed up, baby. Appreciate you guys. You're the real ones. Much love.